Hello and welcome to another Bleistift video. And today I want to talk about the Stadler Handwriting Pens The09, which is only available in the UK. Uh, I I sometimes saw this pen being advertised online here in the UK, and when I had a factory tour on, uh, on in from Stadler, I saw this pen being produced. Handwriting pen obviously sounds uh, like a very interesting name. And at that time I asked and I was told that actually this pen is only being produced for the UK. And um, yeah, you might you might know that the Stadler Norris pencil is kind of the default pen in UK schools. And I think uh, schools are a big kind of customer for this pen because in shops and in offices it's not you know here in the uk it's it's not a very popular pen so i assume it, it's it's going to schools mainly the 09 yeah if, if, you, if you look on the web you can see there's still um stadler pens with similar numbers um and they're normally going under the name micro pen and uh, the same with this pen it used to um it, it used to be known as the micro pens the 09 in the in the early 80s since 1982 but it had a slightly different look at that time then they they uh, they designed everything in the early 90s and since 94 the pen looks like this has this name yeah you can see uh, you can see here this is the slightly uh, newer Stadler logo here where the 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 piece here between the head and the helm the two helmet pieces where they are clearly separated um yeah so it's it's an interesting pen i'm never 100 percent sure what the point of handwriting pens is i assume you know they're supposed to <coughs> excuse me make uh make uh, the handwriting look a bit nicer and you know with the with the Stadler handwriting pane we do have some some line variation yeah. i can have thin lines and thick lines Okay. Um, the design is a bit old-fashioned, but that's why I like it. To me, to be honest, it looks very eighties, even though this design is from from the early nineties and came out in ninety four. Then, I like the design more than those silver uh, silver bezeled triangular um, pens from Stadler. I'm not too keen on their look. I think that especially that silver battle looks quite cheap um, but um, the, the, the next ones are downstairs I'm not gonna go and get them the writing itself it's a nice shade of blue um, especially compared to a fountain pen and also depending on the paper sometimes I feel the blue could be a bit more saturated but it's, it's a great pen you know um, it's, it's certainly um, not expensive pen and the color reminded me of the Pepsi Test pen that was made by Stadler. I uh, here you can see the old logo, you know, where, where where the face and the top part of the of the helmet is combined, so the whole thing looks more abstract and maybe a bit more like a motorbike helmet or something. Excuse all the uh, graphite dust from my pencil case. I tried to erase it a bit, but I was only half successful. Very proud of, of this pen, even though I didn't go to the actual Pepsi test. I think it was my brother, uh, but it was big in the advertising at the time. Um, the other pens with the name handwriting pen in here, pencil sign pen. I just got it uh, this week. I got my Hobonichi order was even very lucky um, because I wasn't being charged for 
for import tax this time. And of course here, we've got more of a, of a brush pen feel, so you can go very wide if you want to. Huh? It's like a, like, like a brush. I don't know how, how to use that, you know, it's, um, I had a refillable brush pen, but I never really practiced writing with those. I assume you can make uh, beautiful calligraphy if you know how, I don't know how. Um, also something interesting here is why are all those pens yellow? Is that some sort of Kohinoor heritage that it's supposed to you know, show that they're valuable or is this just convention that somehow started? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, let, let me try whether things look nicer with... Uh, well... So I think it's um, it's more my fault. Um, if if you know how to use those, maybe if you hold them diagonally. Um, uh, yeah. Or do do you need to press more? Yeah, I I I won't I won't bore you with me trying to use a brush pen properly for the first time. But anyway, I thought I'd tell you about the handwriting pen. Um. If if you look around, if if you Google, you find old documents where those pens. It used to be known as the Micro Pens 309F, so you can find old documents where they, where they were purchased by some government in Australia for Australian schools and 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 things like that. But anyway, I thought I should tell you a bit about the history. Um, Eberhard Rudel, who knows everything about Stadler, he was kind enough to give me. Uh, the background information on this pen. Um, yeah, I'm I'm happy. I can get those. I'm happy they're not expensive. And yeah, I just wanted to share this with you. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. Bye.